In this lesson, we're going to learn how to take and make custom backgrounds that are small and repeat them so that we don't have to wait a long time for them to load. So it'll be a small image that looks like a larger image. So our first image is going to be for the page content area. So we're going to go into Photoshop, do a File, New. For this particular exercise, we're going to make it Width 700, Height 50. Up here I'm going to title it Page Content so that I know what it is. At this point, you could use the gradient tool, you could use shapes, or you can even insert images, or use the paintbrush to design something. I'm going to do a few polka dots over here on the side, holding down shift to make a perfect circle. Try not to get your circles too close to the edge, or if you do, you need to make it where when it repeats, it'll look like it completes the circle. I'm going to do a gradient. Choose your colors first. Click on the background layer. At that point, you can draw a line across, and it will add your gradient. For this particular exercise, you want to make sure that you've saved it in your Review Images folder. Call it Page Content with no spaces. And then you would hit Save. Instead of a PSD, we're going to choose JPEG. And then you're going to go ahead and hit Save. And to add it to your all's page content area, which is right here, you'd go to your style sheet that you've created. You'd add in the background image property. Search for your image. We want it to repeat up and down the page, so we're going to do the background repeat property. And repeat Y will repeat up and down the page. Make sure you've set a height on your div so that you can see it. By default, images repeat X and Y, but we're just going to have this one repeat Y. And this is what it will look like. So one small image that looks like a large image. And you'll probably want to add some padding left to that div so that your text doesn't overlap the image.